The Sharing Science at Sea Expedition is a joint project undertaken with DFO Science, DFO Communications, and then the Canadian Coast Guard. Primary objective was to, first of all, build relationships with the communities, share what we do when we bring these giant red and white vessels out onto the ocean near someone's community and give them an opportunity to come aboard. The Sharing Science at Sea Expedition is this adventure, going up the coast of British Columbia, pulling into ports and communities and inviting people onto this vessel. We're here for the Sharing Science at Sea Expedition. We've been able to come up to the central coast of British Columbia. This is all about communication, connecting, in meaningful and empathic ways. So being from the Heltic Nation, it was a wonderful opportunity to get back into the community and share all the knowledge that I've gained from working with the Canadian Coast Guard and the Sharing Science at Sea Expedition. To be able to take that back home and share that with the community, see all the smiling faces on board the ship and how excited people were for not only to the science side of things, but also search and rescue and just Coast Guard in general. There's a lot of science activities on the ship and outreach activities. It starts at the shore. We set up some fun activities. We've got some iPad programs, um, an ocean school program where kids can sort of explore the anatomy of an orca whale and they can even get their hands on a microscope. When they come on board, they get a great mix of understanding the Coast Guard. For science, we're showcasing a couple key things. So understanding the, the ocean around their community. The Sharing Science at Sea Expedition has provided fantastic opportunities for two-way learning. One of our goals with conducting the search and rescue training with the Canadian Coast Guard and a lot of the First Nation Guardian vessels is interoperability. And a real highlight for me on this trip was seeing some of the first responders from the uh, First Nation Guardian vessels interacting with our medics and rescue specialists from the Coast Guard rescue vessels and coming up with the best solutions using a combination of traditional knowledge of their territory and some of the tools that the Coast Guard medics and rescue specialists have was uh, a real highlight. A lot of the people in the community spend a lot of their life on the water and so they have very detailed knowledge of their local conditions and what goes on and what causes things to change. As oceanographers from DFO, we bring the knowledge of the larger scale ocean. And so by combining the very intense local experience with the broader knowledge, there's actually a chance to learn something that neither of us know. I remember being that age and just being so excited and so interested in that kind of work. And now that I'm able to, to do that, I love the fact that we get to go into these communities and pay it forward and hopefully there are some of the younger generations that are now excited and interested in the Canadian Coast Guard and the Department of Fisheries and Oceans.